I'm Margaret Brennan in Washington, and this week on Face the Nation, the critical standoff between the U.S. and Iran de-escalates. But the conflict takes a tragic turn, and now there's a new crisis, as Iran admits to erroneously shooting down a passenger aircraft, killing 176. We'll have the latest. And here in the U.S., some in Congress are demanding answers as to why the administration continues to send mixed messages about the, quote, imminent threat used to justify the strike in the first place. On Saturday, the Iranian government acknowledged what they'd been denying for days, that following retaliatory missile strikes on U.S. installations in Iraq, they'd unintentionally shot down a Ukrainian passenger jet, mistaking it for an incoming missile. A high-ranking Iranian official was quick to point to U.S. provocation as partially to blame. Now, Iranians are angry with their own government and the U.S. As Washington and Baghdad remain at an impasse over the role of U.S. forces in Iraq, we'll talk to Secretary of Defense Mark Esper. We did it because they were looking to blow up our embassy. We'll also ask him about the intelligence behind the killing of Soleimani. The administration's handling of the crisis is causing frustration even among some Republicans loyal to the president. Now, I find this insulting and demeaning. Republican Mike Lee, Democrats Tim Kaine and Adam Schiff will all be here. Plus, former Secretary of State John Kerry weighs in on Iran and why he's supporting Joe Biden. And a special behind-the-scenes report from our Liz Palmer. She and her team spent a tumultuous week in Iran. All that and more is just ahead on Face the Nation.